I love to see wearables as extension of one's body. I think I'm really interested in the notion of extended mind. By incorporating a lot of interactive technologies into wearables, the wearables can become an extension of one's body. It can provide a way for changing our perception of the world. It can change the way that we communicate with one another. And to some extent, even it can change our bodily awareness. Trained as an architect, I think the discourse of design is really changing. Design is not anymore just related to one discipline, so architecture design or fashion design, but they all can merge and morph to one another. I'm ultimately interested in the relationship between human body and the spaces that we occupy. Emerging technologies, particularly interactive technologies, would allow us to connect with human body in an entirely new way. My goal is to create an empathic interaction between people and any materials of their surrounding environments. When a material is showing a lifelike quality, that moment that you think is something alive, it shows something about you. What is about you that you think a system is alive? Opal is a soft robotic emotive garment that is equipped with facial tracking camera. The facial tracking camera can read the people's emotion around and the garment respond to those emotions accordingly. We tend to do the same sort of facial expressions when we are surrounded, for instance, with a smiling people. I smile back if you smile at me. If you go to defensive mode, I probably become similarly agitated. So the question is that, can our garment do the same? Can our garment has the intelligence to understand your facial expression or the facial expression of the people around? So this would potentially change our interaction because you understand that your action causing my body, my second skin, to respond differently. Bodyscape is an interactive 3D printed top that synchronizes human bodily movement to lighting pattern. The process is really a start from understanding of human skin. Our skin is consists of a series of lines called Langer lines. Those are minimum tension line of the skin. I was using SLA 3D printing technology, which is a very fragile material to work with. But how can you use a fragile material but then apply it to a very dynamic human body? It's a celebration of human bodily movement. I was a resident in the residency program at Autodesk and we were both working on different projects and so we kind of compared notes and swapped parts. Between two physical practices, architecture one, wearables the other, there's a lot of that betweenness, that questions and the curiosity that she has in that space makes the conversation interesting. She's a little more than speculative artist because speculative artists often create narratives around things that don't quite work yet. So she's actually making things that work. And then the next question is, is like, what if they work really well? Then what happens? If we're able to monitor or know more about how we feel and what we're thinking, would we want others to know that? Would you want people to know these things? And if so, then what? Can wearables improve social interaction? We already use our garments as a way that we express ourselves to the world around us. So if emerging technologies, they can be blended into substrate of our wearable, our garments potentially can have different type of behaviors to change our social interactions. Kende Motor, connecting art and technology.